Yeah. Other side, yeah. And we'll All right, wait, but like, so everyone watch the drone. Like, Cuidado, it, it can't, I don't, is everyone aware that it's trying to go through here, yeah? I don't know, guys, this could end badly. Ah. Peer pressure. Everyone stay clear of the drone, please. Stay clear, don't move. Watch out. Insane, bro. I'm not doing that twice. Yeah. <laughs> this is off the hook, guys. I mean, this is like when uh, nature gives you an influencer friendly location. It looks a bit like this. I'm pretty much killing it. Yes, that was sick. <laughs> wow, wow, pretty good. So everybody, this is Sam. You already, most of you guys already know who he is. I'm sure. What's up? And Sam here, like he's definitely one of the most creative souls on YouTube by far. Thank like, you, bro. I really appreciate like, that. Yeah, uh, you should definitely check out his stuff. We're gonna put some links there, but. Your stuff is so beautiful to watch. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm very curious about, you know, more of your story and stuff. Yeah. We're gonna dive into that deeper later, but uh, now we're gonna enjoy a little bit of the, the fun stuff and just enjoy being the, in this influencer simulation for a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. You gonna come jump? Yeah, we're gonna do let's that Let's send now. it, bro. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> hell yeah. Some of the special stuff with Sam Kohler's work is his drone stuff. And uh, it's really, really mind blowing. Dude, I just got a crazy shot on the guys. Yo, Brandon, check this, check this. Yeah, Sab. It's been uh, it's been a true pleasure to to actually hang out with you for this week. Likewise, I have to say, like uh, you definitely stick out from the group in the sense of uh, your energy. You know, you're a very calming, very calming, really nice person to hang out with. Thank you. And uh, I feel like um, after seeing, yeah all the things you do you know like your drone flying is super inspirational um, the way you create content the way you are as a human being as well like uh, i have to say that i'm uh, pretty amazed bro pretty amazed <laughs> I, I can say the same about you bro it's <laughs> that uh, i appreciate yeah um i'm super excited to have met someone uh i guess like-minded and and interested in the same things as i am in life and uh i guess like you're at like another level and like extreme sports and pushing yourself physically and mentally and I think I aspire like you're someone that I definitely look up to and aspire to live like so I'm very thankful that I got to meet you and um, get so uh, get a lot of inspiration from you and Alex on this yeah, trip thank you bro super hyped on that that's why we want to make sure that uh, this is the beginning of something much much bigger you know something that is like I saw this trip as like yeah let's go and hang out with the boys and and then you know how it is when everyone goes to back to their to what we're all used to doing. You know, for us it's the extreme sports stuff. For you guys, it's you know traveling the world and being positive influencers and and and, and creating a, a positive um, outlook on on this world. You know, and I think it's so cool that you guys are now like falling in love with the art of extreme sports and flying your body and stuff like this. Totally. Which which yeah, which we have like huge potentials with you know what we can do with all these things and I think there's no doubt that this trip was the turning point for me yeah into uh, like switching my focus or not switching my focus but like being more making it wider m making it wider yeah mm. for sure my focus and and 
getting a lot more involved in a wider variety of extreme sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And doing a lot more things like. I, I, now now I'm excited to go surf Nazare with you guys yes, at some point. Yes. And that, that, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be so good. Bro. Before meeting you guys, I was like, that's way too far-fetched. Like, I can't do that. Like, I'm like an intermediate surfer. But I think that that's a goal that I want to pursue now. Yes, yes. And you're going to kill it. I mean, you're super fit. You, you know how to read lines. And uh, once you get used to reading the ocean there, and which you will when you come and hang out a little bit there. Plus, it's like such a nice mellow place to to spend time too because you can really focus on your editing and focus on being creative at home at the same time as you go out and really work your mind and your body you know yeah totally and that's super cool and i mean like like looking back at all the things you have done you know you're you're so young you know like and it's so crazy like how much you've already managed to do in your life <laughs> like it's crazy though know? like uh yeah Travel the whole world and no, totally. I I, I agree. I, I sometimes look back at you know the past month of things that I've done, and it's hard to remember what I've done because I'm constantly doing so yeah. much epic stuff, yeah. meeting people like yeah. you guys, and just like getting into the flow of that lifestyle. But uh, a recent revelation that I've had that like really hit me hard is that life is truly short. You never know when is going to be your last day, and yeah. You know, I, I constantly meet people that are 40, 50 and have really done nothing with their yeah, lives. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They still haven't had that realization that like life is very short, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how long I'm going to live. I might live to 60, might live to 70. I'm already a, a, a third of the way in, you know. Yeah, so yeah. it's not that much time. I want to do as much as possible and make the most of it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and I was thinking the same when I was young too. And that's why I was like living this like crazy uh, adventure jumping off cliffs and like well I was like oh shit I might not even survive my own job you know but then now that I'm growing older and I'm still here I'm like shit I really want to do something super positive with my life and something that is more I mean even though this has all been a positive ride but I want to also do more like create changes with the actions that we are doing you know for sure because we know that we have so much power um, between all of us in, in in different levels yeah and when all those powers come together I think it can be huge we, we can create huge changes with with a lot of things you know hundred percent and still fly our bodies like ninjas and, and, yeah. and do the things that we love to do I, I mean yeah life's short I just want to live my life have a ton of fun but also I feel like a responsibility to uh, share the insights that are um, shown to me through these experiences and through mm. as I live life. As my eyes are opened, uh, I also feel the responsibility to open the eyes of the people that look up to yeah, me. Yeah, sure. So just sharing the truth and raising awareness about the reality of what's going on with our planet and yeah. humanity and uh, trying to make change and yeah. uh, impact the world in a positive way. Yeah, definitely. And, and that we're all older than a good way to do. Definitely. And I mean, you already do with your drone videos and the, and the things that you have done <laughs> up until now, you know, people get a lot of uh, enjoyment out of that. And, and I feel like after I started watching your stuff, I was like, wow, like, you know, like, it reminds me so back in the days when we were doing the wingsuit stuff, and it's the same as watching wingsuit flying, but you know that it's safe, you know, it's like, it's, yeah. it's safe, <laughs> no one is going to get hurt to get the shot. And I mean, for those of you who haven't seen Sam's flying, you just have to go into his channel and check it out. Like that drone stuff. Well, let's is show him a little snippet right here. Yeah, yeah, check yeah. Check this out. Yeah, yeah, check this out. How, how has it been for you? Like, how did you get into this whole drone thing? Like, what was it that really sparked you, your, your excitement for that? I mean, I was always into filmmaking ever since I was like 10 years old. My brother was actually the one that put a camera in my hands for the first time. And we had started just making like stupid short little films, you know, short videos, trying to put together stories. Nothing serious. We would just do it as like a creative outlet, you know. Mm. And we just really enjoyed it. But uh, throughout high school, I like progressed and wanted to pursue film more. And um, I remember the first Phantom 2 came out, which mm. was like yeah. you had to the put shit. a GoPro on and then you had to plug in the GoPro to a third party transmitter that would transmit a very staticky image to the screen on your remote and it's like uh, very limiting and uh, but it was like I, I saved up for a long time uh, I bought a used one on Craigslist off some guy took it to Hawaii and um, 
just fell in love with with uh, another side of filmmaking, aerial filmmaking. Yeah. And slowly but surely it progressed. I started working a little bit more with uh, DJI as my content was getting better and better. And uh, DJI uh, would, you know, start to sponsor me and hook me up with Jones. And then I was able to take the the Jones, like take the the flights to the next level and get a little little riskier and riskier as I continued getting better. But I have been flying for like. I don't even know, like how, like how long, like seven or eight years now. Like mm. it's a long time, yeah. you know. And uh, a lot of people think I crash a lot more than I actually do. Uh, I don't crash actually that often. I, I'm like, I've gotten pretty good at line of sight flying and um, make like getting a drone through gaps. And uh, recently, I've obviously gotten more into FPV, which is even more fun in my opinion mm. takes a long time to get into pretty complicated but it's worth it at the end because it's just so fun like you yeah, said yeah. it's like when i fly like i get an adrenaline rush yeah, yeah no for sure you know because there is some risk you know like your life's not on the line it's yeah. not like wingsuiting but but you're you know you're risking you know like a thousand dollar drone just disappearing on mm. you whatever, funny like diving down cliffs and all that it's mm. getting really close to things you get it you get that <laughs> adrenaline rush and i love it for that oh that's good fun and uh, yeah, like the the image speaks for itself, and I'm also like already what I've seen on this trip, and and how you line up the shot, and it's so cool, you know. That, like it feels like oh, it's gonna almost hit, it, like oh shit, but yeah. it's like every millimeter counts. <laughs> yeah, the boat one was crazy. Savage, bro. Savage. I I didn't want to do it because there's there's other people involved. When there's like other yeah. people that that don't see me, that don't know how I fly yeah, yeah, involved, yeah. I'm like. You know, like that's risky. There's no prop guards or anything, but everyone's like, yeah. do it. And I was like, I know I could do it, so I just did it. But like, you know, it's a not, it, shot, I wouldn't recommend flying around close no. to other people. Don't do that, especially close to their faces. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that was good. And uh, I mean, now that I see that you're uh, you're already doing really good on your skydiving too, and I'm really looking forward to uh, spend some time with you uh, and Alex and training and ev with everyone. You know, yeah, like yeah. pretty much what we have been talking about and uh, and hopefully we can make this whole big, big dream come true to to make a, a team uprise that is just uh, yeah the group of all these cool friends and building together some a team that is like can fly artistically beautiful mm. and create this positive change that uh, everyone wants in their life and then at the same time do what we're already good at totally I think it could be a fun one. I see so much potential in this group and yeah. I'm so thankful that you guys have sparked this new interest in me and in, uh, in skydiving. I'm Scott very has thankful to, to, to be honored, like for us it's a big honor to be the two guys that that actually get to to influence you guys in that way because yeah. when we came here it was like I know Brendan really well and I always want to hang out with Brendan and then I was like okay what type of trip is it gonna be it's like is it gonna be one of those where we're we're just gonna pretend to do something cool and then and then create something cool out of it and yeah. then or should we like do something ninja ballistic crazy flying and then when we come, came here and we're like <laughs> all the guys are so nice it's like I, I don't want, I don't want to leave you know like we changed yeah. our flight and stayed longer because it's such good vibes good in this vibes, yeah. in this crew and now that everyone is so hungry to fly because I've been a little bit bummed with that like back in the days with Brandon when I was like ah Brandon we need to get on the coaching we need to get you like ready to become a ninja you know and then now I think he sees the, the big potential in that and I really are, am excited that that um, all of you guys want to progress in your flying because then I know that with what you guys already have the, the incredible creative force and with the filming of Alex in the sky and all the, the the coaching that we're gonna be able to to do with each other and also with him as a coach as well yeah, it's gonna be so beneficial for every single one in the group, oh, gonna and we're crazy. gonna have so much fun. Everyone, like, I can't wait for like six months down the line yeah. for all of us to just be ripping in the wind tunnel and yeah, just yeah, start yeah, choreographing yeah. stuff up in the sky. Yeah, and of course, doing cool things around the planet and uh, making a change. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one for sure. Hell yeah, I think it's really good. I'm very happy that I got to know you, Sam. Likewise, bro. It's uh, and this is the beginning. Hopefully, it's gonna come on all the adventure with the sailboat and everything. Definitely. All the crazy stuff. So yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see what uh, the journey brings.